of three to one. His nickname is Killer. He is one of the wittiest and one of the winningest coaches in junior hockey. Now, I'm talking about the man behind the bench for the Ottawa 67s, Brian Kilray. What we said in the past, carried right on. The ability to win a lot of hockey games. The sole desire to put there. If you're ready tonight, let's have a good warm up. That's ready for a 60 minute hockey game. The pregame pep talk is nothing new to Brian Kilray. He's been doing it with the Ottawa 67s for almost 10 years and still enjoys it. Kilray has been described as a career junior coach. I have been. And uh, honestly, I probably will end up in junior because uh, I've enjoyed it and uh, the kids have been tremendous for me. But every once in a while, uh, the urge may hit or somebody may talk about moving up and I've never really turned a deaf ear but I've always stayed in junior because uh, they were the ones who gave me the start and really it's where I have a lot of fun. Kilway was an all-star forward in the American Hockey League. He came up through the midget ranks in coaching and then started turning out professionals like Bobby Smith, Doug Wilson, Steve Payne and it's watching young players advance that keep him going. It's the fun of the kids. Uh, you know, you look forward to seeing them. They all have different problems. Um, they're not all the same, but when they come, I think it's the total respect they have for um, the organizations as well as um, themselves. And so what we try to do is uh, work on the discipline areas as well as the, the talent areas so that um, when they leave junior, they know that uh, there's a time and a place to uh, have your fun and be respectful. And uh, I look for that challenge. Uh, obviously, uh, we, we can't be 100% perfect, but we try. They all want to get to the National Hockey League. And what you have to do is let them know that they aren't all going to make it. And that's the reason we stress, uh, we stress school too much in our league. Because uh, by making them conscious of school, as well as uh, the hockey, we're hoping that if they don't make it, then the odds are that uh, all of them won't, naturally, uh, that they do have something else to fall back on. But if we can make their junior days enjoyable, as well as uh, hockey valuable, then really we're doing a good job. For all of those years of the minors and all of those years in junior, Kilray has boarded the bus night after night for a different arena, and it doesn't seem to bother him. No, I, uh, I played for Eddie Shore for nine years in the American Hockey League, and we only traveled by bus. Everybody else uh, had that, uh, or a lot of them had the advantage of flying where they were going, and, but uh, we never did fly, and uh, I got to enjoy the bus. It's naturally, uh, it was not by the card games, and some weeks were you were a little bit poorer than others, but. The bus never bothered me because when you were there, you were there. I didn't have to look and count the miles because we were worried about counting the card trick. You know? So uh, the bus has never bothered me. And matter of fact, I think it's a good thing in junior because uh, you get to be with your players. So if, if you uh, started after a game or the next day, maybe you just had a bad loss or a couple of players haven't played well, you can go and talk to them on the bus and tell them uh, some of the things that they might have done wrong or what to expect. And one of the things that boys have to realize in junior, they're going to have a lot of bad games because they've got the pressures of new homes, of new schools, new surroundings, and then they're trying to make a team as well, so you, you try to put them at ease and I expect a few bad games, you know, so don't worry about it. Don't get down on yourself to the point where they're going to worry themselves out of the league. Kilroy coached the national junior team this season. He's been an all-star coach in the OHL, and you wonder what's left. Someday he might turn pro, but it's going to be his way. I realize it's a tough league and it's a win at all costs, but I, again, uh, if it's a win at all costs, I'm, I'm not going to change Brian Kilray to go somewhere else and uh, do what everybody tells me. Like, I have my own mind and I'm going to do what I think is best. And uh, if that isn't uh, the case, then they won't have to worry about taking me because that'll be uh, spelled out really before I would ever go anywhere. Not that uh, I would want to turn anyone off, but I want them to know what I'm like. A blue chip coaching prospect, Brian Kilray. Incidentally, one of his oldest and one of his closest friends is Don Grapes Cherry. And when those two gentlemen get together, needless to say, nobody has a chance to say a word except the two of them, and it is one of the most hilarious uh, gatherings ever. Don Cherry and Brian Kilray, two of hockey's great coaches. Coming up in just a minute, Jerry and Gary, I should say Jim and Gary, with their impressions of period number two, which of course the Ottawa 67's lead by a score of three to one. On our OHL update, let's have a look at the goaltenders in the Ontario Hockey League.
The leaders in average, Greg Corum of the Ottawa 67s is not playing today as Darren Pang gets the start. Gets the start. Chris Pusey doing a great job with Alan Vester up with the Leafs is second. There you see the other top goaltenders in terms of average in the OHL. Wins Dave Mazzaro for the Toronto Marlboros leads in that department tied with Ray LeBlanc. Two top teams right now, Toronto and Kitchener. Peter Sidorkowicz of the Oshawa Generals third and Coram of Ottawa is fourth. Those are the top goalies in the Ontario Hockey League.